belong somewhere, you must be comfortable, and it must make you feel like you're at home. Being somewhere where you can be yourself, but again, like, not just with your family, with your friends, like with society. I'm part of someone, I'm part of a family, I feel weak to them. They just feel like they're needed, you know? They felt like you need something. To feel love in a group of community. I guess feeling a type of security. Just fitting in with whatever other people are doing. It doesn't have to be a place, it could be someone you spend time with or something that you like to do. Validation like within yourself that you need like, oh that person thinks the same thing as me. Um, I guess belonging would be part of a, a group which you can relate to and participate in some way. To have the right personal or social qualities to be accepted as part of a group. Whether it's on social media, the online gaming community, or in real life, it is an undeniable fact that we as humans are constantly on the pursuit to feel like we belong. But why? I mean, you could go biology, you could go um, evolution, you could go, there's so many different ways. I think socially, um, it makes people feel like they belong in a group and to know that they are having their opinions, their ideas, their beliefs validated because there are others who have those same ideas or beliefs. We're always part of a group, and as a group you work together, and I think humans have a tendency to want to belong to a group to feel accepted, to feel protected, um, and that's why, and we want to feel validated that we're important, so being part of a group, it's like being part of a family, you're part of a group, and so a group can also be like a family to you. <laughs> In a survey done amongst MCI students, the second most popular answer to where they feel they belong the most was social media, with 34%. on Twitter and stuff like sure people are gonna judge you as they scroll down the feed but like you don't know what they're thinking about you so you kind of like can express yourself however you want and it's like on social media I follow people that have like exactly the same interests as me and when we have the same interests it's like really easy to start conversations of like me myself why can't you be yourself in reality because when I'm online nobody can judge me that person thinks the same thing as me and like you don't feel like left out of something because you have the same thoughts as this other person on the other side. Yeah. Looking at me, judging me, I won't be able to see their face and know how they're feeling. So in this case, the fact that you don't know is what uh, comforts you. Yes. People who feel a sense of community and belonging because of Facebook, but I think it's a false sense of belonging. To answer this question with uh, the gaming world, would you think poorly of them if you were to see this answer in this documentary, for instance? Yeah, I think that they're probably like a little bit of I mean, if they feel the most comfortable in the game, they probably don't really talk to anybody. a week do you spend on gaming? Three to four hours a week. Yeah. 20? Spending that much time online, where do you as a gamer feel the most comfortable? In reality. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, gaming feels so, so amazing. It's not on fire. You feel like you're one flip in the game. Reality is where I feel most comfortable in the gaming because, because it lets me take on like certain characteristics such as like leadership, and I don't usually take on leadership in real life. Why would a gamer who spends most of the time on the virtual world prefer reality over the gaming world? What the heck happened to the gaming community? The community is very mature, very childish. Games, as I mentioned before, games can get stale afterwards. Either insults or, or people fighting, people, you know, insulting each other. Fair to say that gaming was their most comfortable place. They would probably be labeled as like a loner or a loser. Yep, I think that they're probably like a loner or something. Why does there seem to be a correlation between loneliness and the gaming community? I have people who are in a large group and I have people who are alone. Um, who don't feel a sense of community, who don't feel like they belong. Um, and some of them are, you know, gaming on their phones. So, uh, a gaming world, maybe they feel comfortable in the virtual world. They feel like they belong. They feel like Although social media and the gaming world are great places where you can express yourself and meet others who have the same interests as you, they are only temporary. Relying on these two mediums for a sense of belonging can result in isolation, depression, and even social anxiety. A study done at New University of Michigan found that more people checked social media, the more likely they were to feel worse about their own lives. This can also lead to a loss of identity. And even though we like to think that we don't change, uh, we really do change inside. And a lot of it's influenced by society, so we will evolve to the way that people around us are. Maslow's hierarchy of needs explains how belonging is one of the key aspects to motivation, survival, and psychological health. Because reality is the only permanent medium of communication, it is important to find a place, person, or group in real life in which you can be yourself and fulfill the need to belong. <laughs>